And that's the thing about this game. You get the half chance, you have to try and make it into a full one. It's not easy. It's noticeable as well how much support he's getting. You know, 20 years ago, for a lot of people, it was a case of, oh, not him again. But uh, <laughs> since he hasn't been winning so much of late, they've really got behind him. There's been times where they've been booed, hasn't he, <laughs> when he's come into the arena, and now they're cheering him. How oh, things change. Eight. Nine. Might go into them. <coughs> oh, that just caught the edge. Sixteen. Again, wanted a, well, he caught the first red, actually. I think he played the edge, the, the red at the edge of the pack. Could still take this red on to the left corner. Could hold for one of the bolt colours. He's in that sort of mood that he wants to try and win every frame while he's at the table. Is he taking this to the middle? Oh, that's a great shot. Needs a big bounce, though. <laughs> well, he's not backing away from this black. Yeah. It's there. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Well, he's got the red nearest the pink, which is fairly straight. That was an excellent black. Still needs another one, though, to continue. Don't be surprised if he knocks this in. The line's on the black once more. Not easy from there, though. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? Has he what? turned back the clock here? Well, I was wondering if someone had stuck a tape on from 20 years well, ago. Yeah, well, I don't know. Has he been in the TARDIS or something? Come back, you know. <laughs> Well, it went in and he's in prime position. Well, he was always a very brave player, wasn't he? And he still is. Don't back away from anything. But of course, you need the, the talent to be able to pop them as well, which is what he's got. That's four reds, four blacks, David. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that one in the mix. I'm not sure I could handle it. <laughs> it it's blacks. And we don't know, the rule is normally 40 or 48. I mean, with Joe Johnson, it's the first red. <laughs> But well, it's, it's all blacks. Well, he's made two here. Two one four sevens. 1995. And uh, just three years ago as well. 14. Put it this way, he'll be going for it. It's one of the few lists he's not top of. One four seven makers. Ronnie O'Sullivan's had 11. Stephen Hendry's had 10. Won't be happy about that, then. Well, it's pretty, pretty obvious that he's come here with a purpose. 48. Well, Ken Doherty 49. had a chance on the uh, opposite table. He made a 104, missed the 14th red. But I think this is a better chance because the reds are more in the middle of the table. Well, the bonus prize, the rolling prize, is £40,000. The high break prize, £10,000. So it's £50,000 for a maximum. 57. We did have one in the qualifiers, Robert Milkins. But this is the place to do it. There have been nine made here in total. Ronnie O'Sullivan's had three. Stephen Hendry, too. It's hold your breath time, I think, here. 
Well, they're all in a great position as well. Okay, he's got the one slightly behind the black, but it's off the cushion. This is a wonderful chance. And the way he's been playing... Oh, I'm 72. Seventy-three. Well, he knows that the frame is safe. Now he can concentrate on the maximum. Eighty. Eighty-one. I just wonder whether they might just get rid of this awkward one behind the black spot. And when you consider that some of the balls he knocked in at the start of this break could easily have lost the crowd, know of course what's happening. They'll all be nervous as well. But this man has nerves of steel. Well, he's okay here. He can stun over for the black once more. Well, the black is second century of the match, but more importantly, the maximum is still on. This has been superb so far. Then twelve. Well, he's got a perfect angle on the black here to drop this in and get down towards that yellow. Yeah. Well played. Well, who are these people that are writing him off then, David? Eh? This is incredible stuff. It is, that's the word, I think, incredible. He needs the six colours for his third crucible maximum. Just slightly stretching here on the yellow. This is very similar to the one Cliff Thorburn played, wasn't it, where he stunned it off the back cushion. Similar angle. And at that time, the late uh, Bill Wibbenick was just peering around the corner. Well, he's got his little extension on. Players stopped on the other table. That's pretty much how Cliff played it as well. In 1983, the first Crucible 147. This could well be the 10th coming up. You just can't keep him down, can you? Well, we were wondering what we were going to see from Hendry today. I don't think anyone quite expected this. Brilliant stuff. 129. The crowd feel he's going to do it, but he's got to pop the last three balls. <laughs> Everyone nervous. How nervous is this man, though? Nice call. Well, what can you say? Well, it's this black for a third crucible maximum. Yeah! And that's why he's the greatest. Stephen Hendry.